Welcome back, collective. This is Earth Angel 444, Love Guide. I'm back with another collective message. Uh, let's go ahead and pray, and we'll get straight into it. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. We pray that you would speak to us and stir up new ideas, witty ideas, creative inventions. Um, give us revelation knowledge and the way that we should go and how you want us to handle our business affairs and our partnerships. Holy Spirit, I thank you for moving in this atmosphere. Jesus, I plead your blood over this space and I bind and rebuke all demonic energy that will try to interfere with the prophetic word that will go forth for myself and for the collective. Holy Spirit, I pray that you speak through me with your wisdom, your knowledge, and your guidance and counsel. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hi, collective. Okay, so, um... The story or the message that I have for you, um, there's somebody that's looking at you, Collective, and they're really thinking about like how they walked away from you. Like this could have something to do with love. Um, you know, this could be, you know, some form of intimate relationship or dealing. But this person feels like since they walked away from you, they have been experiencing the longest night. Like they feel like it's just been cold, almost like, you know, the daytime, you know, like them experiencing the day and their the level of happiness that they have through throughout the day. It's just not the same. They feel more of like the dark sadness kind of energy. And they feel like this is, you know, they're experiencing this long extended period of sorrow or sadness or just like longing for you and it's because the way that you are you're you know like you choose to behave in a way that is morally right a way that is justifiable and it's like this person doesn't want to be separate from you anymore they don't want to stay apart from you they don't want to go in separate ways anymore this could be a person who ran away from maybe not just you, but also a child, but it doesn't have to be. This could also be someone that was behaving very immaturely. Their behaviors, um, they, they felt like it was coming from a place of emotional awareness and emotional intelligence. But this was like a very immature energy when this choice was made or when this action was taken. This person feels like you are the source to, um, it's like you're part of what, she, like they, they feel like you are part of their ancestry or like you have some direct connection to what happens to them, like certain outcomes for them here on this like earthly realm but then also in the spiritual realm as well ultimately like they feel like they ran from their source their source of power their source of happiness their source of life their connection to what really matters to them you know They look at it like, okay, they thought they were doing the um emo like the emotionally intelligent or mature thing to do, but they're just kind of looking at it looking at it now as though like you are connected to so much power. You're connected to the divine in such a way where you will just you continually stay publicly protected and supported. Or this is this person now feeling like they want to reconnect with you and they want to publicly like protect you and support you and rebirth this. Rebirth this connection. Where it was once dead, they wanted to come back to life and have some type of energy after just, you know, being stagnant. Or, you know, just like the connection was just flatlined for a while. They wanted to pick up momentum and just kind of like recharge again. 
this person feels like this breakup or this separation, this heartbreak that was experienced from them walking away from you was something that was like in deep down inside, they feel like there was something small that kind of like seeped in to the connection and caused a certain level of poison to enter into the connection and that ultimately destroyed it. They see themselves as like outwardly being tested. Their soul is being tested through a certain level of pain and suffering. And this person doesn't want to, you know, sit still anymore. They want to move towards you. They want to really take action to come towards you. They feel like it would be the right thing for them to do. That would be, you know, the best move for them to make as far as like how they're behaving in this situation. They might want to come towards you for a few different things. You know, they could come towards you and say that, you know, they want to spend time with you and have some type of exciting moment. There could be something that they say they may want to really come towards you due to um, there could be something going on with this person's health. There could be um, an issue with this person's like if it's not physical health, it could be like a mental health thing that they've been experiencing. Um, you know, this person could come towards you and say, you know, I want to be in your life or I want to do this long term, um, you know, look, or looking at this as though it's some form of, you know, exciting kind of journey to take on. But whatever they decide, they're, they've decided that they want to start moving towards taking the right kind of action and behaving in the most fair and honest way. And that's what they want to do. They feel like in the future, or wait, let me back up a little bit. So they see you as having... Well, I don't know. So I'm seeing this in some cases where this is them wanting to come and travel towards you. But in other cases, just place it how it fits in your life. This person is looking at like the situation was way too painful for you to bear. Like the way that the poison or whatever it was, the toxicity, the way that it seeped in and it slowly caused everything to collapse. They feel like this is why you ran towards this very... Um, you know, fair and balanced and, and just and right decision making and behaving, you know, whether that was for you to like have fun in doing this or this was planned to be something, a long term endeavor, you know, or this was just you pursuing like a deeper level of soul searching or healing for yourself. So just take it. However, it could be this person wanting to come towards you. <laughs> I just clapped. Sorry. <laughs> it could be this person wanting to come towards you in a certain way. Or it really could be, you know, them seeing like your growth and your development or, you know, they feel like you literally had to run away from whatever this was. So take it how it fits, you know, it's like two storylines here. I'll clarify too and see which is the more prominent energy if it's them that's wanting to run towards you or if they're kind of just mentally processing everything still but it's like you know through this soul this pain like having this suffering they see you as having birth you know many spiritual like ideas out of this like you found so many ways to collaborate with God, with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with the divine, you know, like um, you're, they see you as someone that is highly respected in the spiritual community or just amongst peers. And it's like, you are acknowledged as someone that's, you know, very patient and kind. They see you as someone that decided to collaborate or build something successfully um, by way of like prayer or meditation or um, service 
to for your community or other people. And it's like, this makes this person feel like there's going to be judgment for them in the future because of how you did not. They see this as like, this wasn't your decision. Clarify this. Actually, I'm gonna start clarifying. Hmm. Or, or okay, this is this person feeling like them being undecided and them not being able to decide on you. It's like you move towards collaborating with things that were more higher from above your spiritual. Um, desires. Um, one more, please, Holy Spirit, please clarify. Well, this person feels like they walked away from you and they're having like this longest night where they're just having this very sad experience with this. And it's like your level, like your level of character. I don't know. They don't want to separate from you, but this person betrayed you and they were very territorial towards you. They feel like what, you, what they did to you Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This person feels like they were ignorant in the past. They don't know if if you're going to be like protective against them. This person was very dishonest and they were trying to win at all costs. Like this person was trying to get even with you about something and they were backstabbing you. They um they see you as like really expecting a lot of blessings and it's because you're so intellectual the way that you integrate your opposites and Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah. So they see this as like, okay, they, they ran away from you. And when they did that, you really connected in to this power source that you have, to the divine. And it's giving you so much public protection and so much the support, the love. Like everything being put out on display to see this powerful connection that you have with the divine this rebirth that you've had and they're expecting a lot coming from you they're expecting a lot of blessings to happen for you in your life they expect a lot of you know financial blessings as well they just see a lot they um they feel like you're you have like all this mastered communication and you've completed cycles of things just kind of going in circles and circles in your life like Yeah, they look at it like they walked away, they ran away from you, and they put you through so much um, testing of your soul that it really caused you to run, you know, run towards the things that are good. You you had to run towards something that was better, something that was healing, your behaviors, everything about you changed. You wanted peace for your life and you left. This was like very sexually immoral. 
that you walked away from and you stepped into your gifts. This could be leaving a place as well. Like you left a place that, you know, where there was just like a lot of sexual immora immorality. Um, there could, you know, and this is like not loving relationships. I'm not talking about couples and people being together. I'm talking about like men on the down low desiring other men and women on the down low desiring other women i'm talking about like people you know in an energy where they're very sneaky and very um condescending and deceiving in what it is that they do yeah they see you as like moving on to manifest your dreams this is why they feel like they're going to have some type of, you know, calamity or something bad that could happen to them in the future that they'll, you know, they're going to see it as some form of divine punishment. But your level of creativity and how quickly you're able to move, how quickly you've had this, um, this level up. whatever new opportunities that have been presented to you based on how you set your goals, this really pains this person because it's like they see you as doing things in a way that they've never been done before. They see you as being, you know, a pioneer and a trailblazer, someone who is really imaginative and you use the creative expressions in your mind. This brings a lot of sadness to this person. It really pains them because you've earned everything that you have and you've, you're moving forward in a certain level of willpower and courage. You're overcoming um, self-doubt. You're possibly holding back from this person. Or you are holding back from this person. They ran from you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, they see you as being in a space where you have spoken your truth. You have spoken your truth. You've you've come from a very logical place, and then you pull your energy back. You're in a space of self-reflection right now. And um, whatever action you took towards this person recently or in the past at some point, you let them know, like you spoke, a, you spoke a certain form of a truth, letting them know that you don't see them the same way. You don't think of them in the same way anymore. And you really see this as being saved by the bell. You see this as you being alert and being on, you know, you being on your stuff, you being up, you praying, being in a space of contemplation and introspection, really looking within and, you know, getting a better understanding of what it is that you want, what it is that your efforts are moving towards. How are you, you know, producing things in your life? And you basically caught this it's like saved by the bell. This person um, has a very, very like deep kind of controlling and, and very, very dominating kind of way about them. And it's like you saved yourself. This is saved by the bell. This is you being up late at night and being aware and being very watchful and prayerful. And it's like what I'm seeing here, what I'm hearing is that if you had have if you would have called this to you oh okay you changed your mind about this person and there was something that you took a quick action to speak or to say and it was just in time because even without you calling or drawing it in this person would have brought in total chaos and confusion into your life and this is how they're seeing it. Like there was a lot of disorder. There was a lot of things that were off balance and that just weren't right. And it wasn't anything that you did to provoke or to pull that in or draw that in towards yourself at all. 
someone just had a very oppressive energy towards you. They see you as being someone that is very balanced and mature. You're very idealistic. And it's like you are balanced with others as well. You really focus on your goals. They see you as someone that's really going to go with your gut and you're always going to, you know, see the potential, the greatness or the potential in a new opportunity. Um, it could come across as you being like a little naive or, you know, just taking sudden actions on certain things. And but I mean, the truth is, it's like this action that you took is opening up the possibilities for you to create just about anything that you want. People are going to be mad because they're, you know, like someone doesn't want you to be greater than them. And they see it. They see it happening very, very quickly. And it's like the will of fortune is turned in your favor, collective. And, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you are inspiring other people. You're taking the right risk. You're very brave. You're operating in very balanced energy as far as leadership. And you're, you know, like you're going to even be much better at expressing your passions and going after your passions. Somebody could be remembering like some type of deal or agreement that they had that was supposed to work out for everybody, but that's dead, that's over, that's done. It didn't bring a better balance. It didn't, um, it didn't bring any kind of spiritual assistance or any divine intervention. This was like mismanaging emotions. Like there could have been a better balance or, or a better level of executing wisdom in whatever this is. But you're going to have um, some success coming towards you very, very soon. Somebody is in massive regret and disappointment. Like there's going to be, um, there's an unexpected outcome. Yeah, somebody just feels the need to move on, I guess. But, um, you know, the will of fortune is turning in your favor collective and you are seen as having so much power and authority. You are seen as being able to build, to self-govern, to um, lead others. Like, you know, you have this ability, you have this wealth transfer energy on you and you have this ability to transfer and to place that energy or, um, you know, give that energy, project that energy to others, you know? And it's like this person... They are in massive grief. They've gone through, this is like regret. They juggled you. They, this is someone that could have been juggling partners, but now they're juggling ups and downs with their emotions. They could have really lied on you and tried to really do things to um, play with your head and play mind games on you and stuff like that to really kind of like disrupt the way that you think your intuition and like how you you don't second guess yourself you just have this like immediate knowing about certain things this person is they're in a space of acceptance now but they truly regret this energy that they were in against you this is like an agent of of evil energy they couldn't stop it you know they just had all of this excitement for what it was that they were doing to try and cause you burdens and now this person is really seeking after some form of forgiveness or they're seeking after some form of help or they're looking for something 
They're looking for a way to, you know, put this to rest and to reignite whatever passion or the likeness between you guys. They want to feel good about this again. They want to be able to like believe and have faith in this connection because they feel very burdened about all of this. They don't like this suffering and silence. They don't like this. Um, you know, they feel like they were influenced and they kind of conformed. to some level of group thinking or something like that. And they were being held to a standard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But it's like the distance in the space between you has this person really worried because all they can think about are the situations that, you know, occurred in the past. And, you know, this person just ends up feeling angry over it. It's because, you know, they see you as being like a beacon of hope. Like you are like a shining light that guides the way. They 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 feel like, you know, you symbolize positivity and loving kindness. Like you're happy. You have like a, a spiritual renewal type of energy. You're inspiring. When people are in your presence or they're in your energy, you know, you bring a lot of like magic like miracles and inspiration and they feel like you might be defensive against them um and it could come from an emotional space or an intuitive space because they were sneaky they they were deceitful and they did things that you didn't see like they were playing behind your back and there was just like a lot of like sneaking and strategic planning and moving in silence this person might, you know, like they want to come towards you now and say that they're sorry. They want to admit what they did and they want to, you know, they're going to admit that they feel ashamed and embarrassed for their behavior. They're going to say that's why, you know, they thought that they were going in the right direction. They thought that they could... You know, they thought that they could move away from you or like they thought you know, that it was, it was the safe thing to do to run from you. But this person feels like, you know, you're supposed to be like their life partner. And they see you as like anyone would love to have you. Anyone would love to spend their life with you. They feel like you are the divine lover. You are someone that they could depend on. You're very nurturing and caring. You know, like you take care of the people that are around you. You love, you know, the connections that you're in. You nurture the connections that you're in. And you have this um, way about you, this exclusive, like this exclusivity to you where you don't share this type of loving, this divine loving energy with just anyone. It's like you symbolize so much, um, you symbolize so much positivity and happiness and divine law and order. And then, uh, you know, additionally, you have this divine love that you can give and it's even separate from the guide, the, the way that you can be a guiding light or a beacon of hope in someone's life. Yeah, they see this as the teamwork that they that you have with the divine, the Lion of Judah and the Three of Pentacles. This is like, you know, you have this collaboration and it's like your hard work. You're receiving recognition for that because it, what, what you've done is paying off. You're really building your success one goal at a time. They um, they feel like they want it your people to be their people and your ways to be their ways. But the steps that they were taking in the connection were just slowly ending the connection. It was to the connection's demise and they feel very foolish now because this person sees you as their, you know, their Adam and to their Eve or their Eve to their Adam. And they really tried to take you out because they didn't want you to be better than them. They didn't want you to be acknowledged as having done more or achieved more or accomplished more. They didn't want, you know, that level of praise that they receive. But it's like this person feels nostalgia now, nostalgic now. And they want a reconciliation or at least they want to restore the friendly relations of the connection because they are learning from all the illusions that they had in front of them that really caused them to waste their time. 
It really caused them to waste their time. They invested and they really weren't, you know, they didn't think that they needed to look as far as like, what is this going to produce in the long term? You know, as far as like reaping and sowing. And this person is feeling like they could, they invested in the wrong things. They wanted to grow a reward. They wanted to grow a profit. They, they, you know, but they were rebellious. Or it's just like they wanted to be a rebel. They wanted to be, you know, daring. And they wanted to show all this resistance to you. And they were very impatient. They spent a lot of time really trying to be assertive and, you know, be in a, a space of war with you and seize the moment, you know, for any type of opportunity they could. And this is because they wanted somebody else to take your place. They wanted to party all night long and they wanted to socialize with, you know, they feel like they're ready to start making wise decisions with how they move. They're ready to move in the right direction now. They don't want to go in the wrong direction. They see you as being very career focused and being someone that um, you could possibly be a little materialistic to this person. But they see you as being really um, focused and steadfast. Whatever you're obligated to, whatever you have a sense of duty towards, you move towards that and you accelerate and make very, very quick process. You think on your feet, collective. Thank you. They look at your um, ability to draw people out of dark places, to hear from the Lord Most High. And to really take action on that, they see that as, you know, you starting something new and possibly looking at them like my, maybe you're too good for them or something in the future. They might look at, they might feel like if they, when they come towards you, or if they come towards you, it'll look like them trying to get a new opportunity, but really they just want to start something new. They could also be worried about it fizzling out quickly or you like really being a smart mouth with them or saying something smart or possibly like disrespecting them in front of people or just kind of making them, they don't, they're worried about you backing them into a corner in regards to like your behavior, if you do something or say something that's like out of line. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. You're amazing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Bye.